Okay, so here are seven ways to sell more card sites in 2024 without really trying. This is also, you know, I'd argue equally as uh, powerful for any other web design sort of service or really any marketing service uh, overall. Number one, dumb down your niche. Focus on one target market at a time. So constrain your a client base, but also dumb it down a little if you can. Like it's better to choose a niche that is, or a target market that is less uh, web savvy, less design savvy, is less supported by lots of other uh, agencies that work in a specific niche or industry like chiropractic, real estate, psychiatry, you know, all of those sorts of niches have v restaurants even, you know, all of those have very specific large companies that kind of deal with agency offers directly to those niches. There are lots of ways to dumb this down while still targeting those uh, types of folks, but you really, really want to find folks that will benefit empirically from what it is that you're offering and don't have a myriad of other options and agencies you know, targeting them all the time with a similar offer. Focus on one niche at a time, one target market at a time. If it doesn't work, simply, uh, you know, change to something else. Reduce your templates to three. This is really specific for card, but it also uh, applies to if you're using Framer or uh, Webflow or any of those sorts of tools as well. You want to master three types of super simple, very specific, templates or themes that give you maximum um, you know reward or maximum return for both yourself your time invested as well as your clients right so we've covered this in many other places but things like a you know profile dot me and about me a link tree uh, or link in bio style alternative these are great offers for just about every niche market industry and profession whether you're working in a niche, whether you're walk, working in a locality, et cetera. Number three, have a big back-end offer and a big back-end offer that has a continuity component so that you can roll it over month over month. You sign up a client and there's some sort of continuity component that keeps them in your orbit, you know, for not just a single job, but actually you know, month over month, newsletter marketing, testimonial uh, collection. These are things that never go away. If you're offering something like that, obviously someone doesn't start a newsletter in March and then kill it in April or more, you know, for our time purposes here, someone doesn't start a testimonial collection campaign in November and then stop it in December, right? You want to actually keep that up, uh, as the client, you want to keep that up. And therefore, as the agency, it serves you well to have a continuity offer that is back end oriented and that has some kind of robust, durable price point that's, you know, makes you a lot of money. All right. Number four, build your back end offer into the template. All right. I've covered this a number of times elsewhere. Your email marketing template, if that's one of the three that you're using, you obviously you know, offer an email marketing service thereafter, a newsletter building service, a automation, you know, uh, service, a, uh, you know, whatever it is, a, you know, like a, a monthly, uh, you know, deal service where you're actually for your clients sending out emails to their clients, you know, offering like a, you know, coupon for this holiday or that holiday, et cetera, or incorporating obviously all three. I mean, having a newsletter, having an email automation sequence, and just handling email marketing for your niche is a great continuity offer that works well with specific templates, right? So have a, have a email marketing template as one of your three it's just a, if you're building on card especially this is really really powerful you can also do the same thing with a testimonial template testimonial slash reviews where you're just embedding those testimonials and reviews 
onto the website, onto the card site using a widget. Uh, and the same is true for their existing website. If they have an existing WordPress site or, you know, uh, Square Squarespace site, you can do the same thing. You can offer the same uh, service by dint of pasting that code into multiple places for them. The uh, review testimonial code I'm referring to here. All right, number uh, six: do email outreach and use specificity and complementary content as the cornerstone of your campaigns. Most email marketing sucks and most outreach that I get, I'm sure that you get, is just general, vague, kind of like nonsensical, superficial silliness that you can tell that folks have no idea who I am, no idea who you are. They're just like hitting up everybody that, you know, that lands on some list, LinkedIn list, a Twitter list, a Instagram list, whatever, and then just kind of like hammering us with these very generic unspecific offers that have no real, you know, salience to me as the business owner, right? So if someone sends me an email that like uses my name, that specifically references something that I've done in the world and is flattering or complimentary, that is obviously a really super appealing email to open, right? We're human beings that are designed, you know, to be responsive to flattery, right? So, I mean, it's a very simple heuristic to use. Specificity, complementary content, and also keep it short, right? You don't want to just drone on and on and on. You know, I've learned the hard way in my own uh, outreach campaigns that the longer you kind of, you know, the longer the email is, no matter how many good things that you think they're going to be interested in, the longer you, you know, kind of make the heavier load that you offer your, uh, you know, your email outreach audience to read and consume and understand what it is that you're offering, no matter how persuasive, no matter how, you know, irresistible you may think it is, they're not going to read it all. And it ends up going in the, you know, in the, trash box, right? So you want to just keep it very, very short, very complimentary, and very specific. And oh, by the way, one of the easiest ways to do email outreach campaigns for these sorts of, uh, of businesses is using those reviews, testimonials to your benefit. You can actually say to somebody, hey, you have 22 five-star reviews on Yelp for your pizza. Fantastic. I mean, that's like very, very specific. And you can actually use your reviews or your Yelp reviews in the subject line. And that becomes very, very persuasive to the person who is getting this email outreach. If you, you know, said to a life coach or a psychic medium or a sushi restaurant or a lawyer, you know, or a uh, therapist, you know, you have, I just read your 96 uh, you know, reviews on ZocDoc or on Realtor.com or whatever it is. And did you know you can actually uh, put those front and center on your website? That becomes a very, very, you know, compelling offer to the person who has those 96 reviews. There's nobody in the world that doesn't want more people to see more of the nice things that are being said about them on the web and in the world. So that's a really simple way of like tying all this stuff together in a very um, ethical yet effective way. And the last thing I'll say, number seven, which is a bonus uh, kind of you know idea that many of you probably won't want to try, but you should. And this is a little bit of, you know, it's a little bit more effort than the without really trying approach that I'm trying to capture here. But Build tiny directories, curated local sites that feature people, products, professionals, or recommended resources in your niche or community. And then you actually can use that in the service of featuring your clients in a very flattering way. It's an irresistible offer that actually gives you an authority site. It gives you the, uh, the appearance of expertise and the appearance of you know, kind of being a local a leader, a niche, you know, thought leader, a community uh, agency that's like, you know, has some panache or some gravitas.